Good morning. It is week 11 of the backyard garden. Just want to start off by showing some of the canning I've done. Something I've never done before. Got seven jars of pickles and seven jars of diced tomatoes. And they all popped. I never thought I'd be so happy to hear something pop. Um, in the freezer, I also have about five one-gallon um, Ziploc bags of tomatoes, too, that I'll be able to take out a little bit at a time and do what I want. But I just thought I'd try my hand at canning because the freezer isn't that big. So, but that's, um, that's what I got so far. This is what I'll be working on today. Um, bunch of cherry tomatoes I'm gonna try to can um, got cucumbers I was supposed to put up a lot of cucumbers yesterday but our refrigerator um, I guess we blocked the air vent and it froze everything in the refrigerator including all the cucumbers I was supposed to can so um, we had to toss those but um, got all these jalapenos here that I picked so, got more out on the back porch. We've got these ripening on the porch. As soon as they start turning a little bit of color, um, we go ahead and pick them and let them ripen here. So that way it tries to keep the bugs and birds and everything else trying to to eat them. So over here I picked the zinnia blooms so I can get the seeds. So we'll see how that turns out. That'll be a first as well. So come out here. We got about a third of an inch of rain last night which was much needed. Um, of course it comes after Hello, Mr. Lizard. You wanna hide from the camera? <laughs> you better not go on the back porch. It's lucky it gets you. I was trying to chase him away. Um, but we had rain, I mean, watered the garden a little bit yesterday. Oh, I got a hummingbird. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, no, he ran away. He'll be back, though. Um, so, but that third of an inch was much needed. Oh, but the strawberries are looking good. Uh oh, what's this? What is this? I'm not sure what that is. It's like dirt, maybe? I don't know. I'll figure it out. So, what I've done with the strawberries, let's see if I can find one. I'm waiting on some of these here. They have these runners that come off. And see when they get to having a little nubbin on them, um, you can actually cut them up here and then leave about an inch there from what I've read to help them stand up. But this one, he seems to want to continue on, so I might get two plants out of that. And um, got another one doing it here too. So what I have, I've got them um, in this tray under here kind of growing and once they get a good many roots, let's see if I can find some. See if he's got some roots yet. Oh, yeah, he's starting to grow roots. So once they get a good root system, I'm going to plant them in my green stock. Since last week, the one little watermelon died out, but then I had another one show up. And that watermelon there's looking okay. Not great. So, the blueberries, the birds have picked almost all of them off. Except those, and they'll, they look like they've been messing with them. So, I don't know. I gotta figure out what's going on with that bush. 
who are. I don't know. Anyway, while this area looks a little bit different, we, um, Greg took down the cucumbers because they were looking really bad. Our temperatures have been in the um, mid to upper 90s and they're calling for the rest of this week upper 90s. So I'm not sure what our garden is going to look like by next weekend. You know, it is July in Charleston, South Carolina. So, you know, it is what it is. But all of the leaves that he had here, he took the tiller and tilled them into the dirt to try to build up the soil. So, you know, hopefully that'll bring some earthworms and all sorts of good stuff to the garden. And um, still getting blooms on the jalapeno bush. Still getting little baby jalapenos, so. It seems to be doing really well. Almost time to pick them again. Might be able to add some more to the collection. And the banana trees are looking good. Especially that one that's been on the struggle bus. This here, um, kind of sad right now. Um, I haven't seen the female bluebird since day before yesterday. Um, there was five eggs in there. I tried to kind of peek in there, but I keep getting buzzed. I saw at least three babies, but I haven't seen the female at all. I don't know what's, I hope nothing's happened to her because this male, he's been through it this year. He's him and the other female have been hanging around since last November and um, then with the raccoon got the other eggs I'm thinking she got injured somehow and she started building another nest and then got halfway through and then disappeared so I um, think something happened to her anyway he sat out here for a week just calling her and calling her it was so sad. Kept looking in the birdhouse. Just, ugh, broke my heart. And then um, he kind of went off and about a couple days later, he, he brought back another female. And I, I don't know for, for sure if it's the same male, but he seems very comfortable being around us. So that's why I'm kind of thinking he just went and found him another female. But anyway, I haven't seen her and um, she was so pretty she was a little bit different coloring than the other females that we've had come to the bird box um, she had more brown and all she, she was just beautiful so I'm hoping nothing's happened to her I'm hoping she maybe just got scared off for a couple days but that is the shade cloth we've been putting up to try to block that sun because in the afternoon sun it slams the front of that and those poor babies, I don't want them to burn up. So they haven't seen at all worried that, you know, we've had that shade cloth off. They've still been coming to the birdhouse and feeding the babies and stuff. So it hasn't hindered that, which is good because we, at first we, we were kind of concerned that it would. So anyway, this little tomato, I'm thinking this is a determinant because he's not very big, but he's loaded with tomatoes. Look at there. I mean, everywhere. So I'm hoping he can, uh -oh. I don't know, looks like some dead blooms, but we are constantly having a problem. I think this one is on the struggle bus. Might be almost time to pull him up. He's hanging in there. Um, I did have to pull up this one sunflower, but this one here, he's getting ready to bloom. So hopefully he does okay. Um, still getting a lot of cherry tomatoes. So... 
got him coming, and this fish, he's full of tomatoes too. And everywhere I go, just moving up a little bit, I see tomatoes everywhere. Yeah. And that's way above my head. And I see some blooms at the tippity top. And this one, my goodness. See, you can see where the worms are just eating. Tomatoes there. Sorry about the ambulance. Again, I live by a busy road. Look at these. I mean, a bunch of them. And we got some more blooms up there. As you can see, Greg had to extend that to try to support that. Because they're the indeterminate ones, so they would bind down. He's here. Still got a bunch of cherry tomatoes here. And everywhere. I think this one might be a determinant too. Because he's not getting very big. And this sunflower. He's going to see. So I'm just going to leave him like that and see. Look at this. And that's way above my head. <laughs> There's cherry tomatoes everywhere. And these dog long bell peppers, I swear. I think they're not liking the heat right now. I don't know. I keep making excuses for them for not showing any fruit. No. Yeah, I mean, none. No, 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 no. Anyway. Some of the tomatoes are starting to get these little splotches on them. I'm not sure if it's what it is. Still trying to learn. Still trying to learn. And these, it seems with me trimming these back so hard to get the worms off of them has helped. I mean, because these leaves are you see something is still messing with them. Um, but they're looking healthier. I'm curious. I see the worms are still eating this one up. Let me see. But they're still producing fruit. Just got to try to keep the worms from eating it. But, yeah, they're kind of vining up. I think the ones, these here are behind the shed. I think they have a better chance of surviving the heat this week than the ones that are on the other side. So, we got these. Such pretty flowers. That's why I've made it my little avatar picture, I guess that's what you call it. At that one. So pretty. I don't know what these are called, but they're pretty. I'm trying to figure out how I can get some seeds off of them. And that sunflower, you can see the seeds forming. I'm going to let it go to seed out here too. Sunny is still hanging upside down in our garage. So, I might show that one next week. You can see I really thinned out the zinnias. So yeah, that's, a, that's a pretty color purple. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a pretty magenta. But what I did was I took a couple of those blooms and just released them back down in there. Let's see what they do. And this here, it's just a mess. I don't know. I would take these things down, but they produce these pretty flowers. So, I'm not crazy about them. The way they look, but 
I mean, just different color flowers. So, I like the flowers, so I'm keeping them around. I got these little ones in here. The bottle brushes are looking good. I think they're going to survive. Hopefully, we won't get another hard freeze again. Now these here. We'll see. I um, let's see. They're on their last leg. They really, really are. I don't think there's any use in trying to save them. There's nothing we can do. It's just too hot for them. And this sunflower. He's going to seed. You can see his petals are drooping and all, and that's a sign that they're going to seed. Plus the leaves are dropping. That one, I think he's probably not too far from being pulled up. That one's actually looking good. That's like a newer one. And these, yeah, there's not much fruit on them. Might look a little bit more different next week. We did pull up a few of them. Yeah, this one, he's going today. Because that's the only thing that looks like the worm has gotten into him there. But, let me see. So, he'll be pulled up today. These are still producing fruits. I mean, all the way up. Got some balloons right up there. Pulled that one up, and these are still again. See what worms will do? They just tear up everything, and there's really no saving it. The um, cucumbers. These are the pickling ones, and uh, that's that one to pick right here. They look okay. I think we're going to trim some of the leaves this morning before it gets too hot. And um, got a big shade cloth. And um, I think we're going to try to just lay it over like that. And um, see if that will help protect them from some of the heat because I really like the pickling ones. And that's looking pretty. I like the flowers. Let's see if I can reach out. That's Sonny Jr. I think he topped out at 11 feet. So, but you can see that the petals are all gone. And he's going to seed, so he's expanding out. Um, it'll be cool. I'm not going to put a cheesecloth over him. I'm going to just let him do what he wants to do. So, over here, we pulled out some more tomato bushes. But, I mean, they're still producing here. You can see it's starting to die out up there. And the nose right there looks pretty good. Well, hey, Miss Lucky. How are you doing? Huh? Have you been watching your homers? Hmm? She loves to lay over there and watch the hummingbirds. This one here, <laughs> Greg, really thinned out all the dead leaves, so it's just fruit. And I'm hoping it's not going to burn up the fruit, but you, as you can see, it's, it's just, you know, they, they can't stand this heat. Still got a bunch of fruit, and we'll be picking those. Once they um, start turning the color, we, um, we pull them and let them ripen on the porch. Earlier this week, I went through and took out all the dead stuff. Um, I think what I'm going to do... I mean, it, those are looking healthy. What I'm going to do is take some of those zinnia seeds and just kind of sprinkle it in here and see. You know, it's only July, so maybe I'll get some more. Oh, the white ones are gone. 
I was hoping to show you the white one. So, and if anybody has any problems with raccoon or deer or whatever, these things have worked fantastic. I haven't seen any of the raccoons back. What? What? You sitting there waiting on your hummers? Uh-huh. You are? Okay. He's here. You're pretty. So, anyway. Yeah. One thing that I wanted to mention is I went through the tomatoes yesterday and broke off some of the suckers off of the um, bushes that produce like the largest tomatoes and um, the most cherry tomatoes and um, I've got them in water to try to um, get some root growth on those so we can plant once we dig these up. Um, last year we um, planted some tomatoes behind the shed here and um, we got all kinds of cherry tomatoes before we even knew what what to do with them and I mean you know we didn't break suckers we didn't do anything so I mean we got a good many cherry tomatoes but I think we could have gotten more but that right there blocks the sun and um, uh, we had a good amount but we we're planning our fall garden now um, Probably will not plant it as the male. I don't know if you can see him, he's on the corner of the shed. There he is. Um, I just got to figure out what we were wanting to plant. Um, I did get another green stalk. I got the original one. Um, this one here is the leaf. It has the smaller pockets in it. So I'm going to have the strawberries and hopefully those strawberries there will take root and I can put them here and just make this a, a strawberry one um, but I got the original one and I'm planning on planting herbs and some other stuff and there's you know some small stuff I mean you can plant big stuff in them but I'm just wanting to try to play around with herbs and stuff because I've never really done herbs and I can't wait to get those set up but it's too darn hot to even try to set them up and get a load of dirt in here we'll probably wait till September on that so anyway I'm just glad we got a little bit of rain yesterday and made every, all the grass turn green so I hear my frog behind me every time he hears my voice when I'm out he makes sounds like here I am Anyway, um, oh, I wish I could zoom in on this because I see a, a baby head in the birdhouse. So, anyway, all right, well, that is week 11. Um, stay tuned. We'll see what, what next week will bring. It seems like every week is something, something new, especially now with the heat happening. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely dying out the, the summer garden. So we are we are starting with um, with the fall. And um, if you are in South Carolina or in Zone Eight, <clears throat> I highly recommend um, Jess from Roots and Refuge Farm. Um, She's right outside of Columbia, and she posted a video yesterday about the fall garden. And let me tell you, I watched it. I'm getting ready to rewatch it again, and I'm going to take notes. She put out so much good information, and thank you, Jess, because I need all the help I can get. So it's, it's, it was real informative. So if you don't follow her, that's where I've been learning a lot about gardening. And um, from her and from the Millennial Gardener, he's in North Carolina, I guess outside of Fayetteville. 
he's also zone eight. Um, I've been trying to follow mostly people in my zone, and um, that's so that to me that's how you learn how to, to to garden is following people that are in your zone and what works for them, what doesn't work for them, and um, so I, this I tell you we've we've been, we've been blessed. So. I mean, this is definitely the, the prettiest garden we've ever had, ever, ever had. You know, we've tried growing, growing things here and there, and it just died or didn't come up. And so it's, we are thankful for the amount of fruit that we are getting off of these vines. We didn't count on having 70 tomato plants. But between the ones that I seeded and the volunteers that came up, um, that's what we ended up with since everything else died. And what I mean by the volunteers, I can't show you some of them because, see, just drop the tomato down and um, I'll be pulling back probably some of those leaves because Greg did that on the other side. So just drop the tomatoes down and um, you know a lot of times you'll, you'll have them come up as volunteers so we just got to move back those leaves so they can get to the soil so I may end up with 70 plants again who knows I'm hoping I don't ever have to seed um, tomato plants again oh 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 I forgot to tell you this one here that I just stuck in the ground. Look at the blooms. Look at the blooms. Yep, he's growing. This one here is turning into two plants because it was kind of growing sideways. So I just threw some dirt over it. Now he's growing two plants, but he's got blooms on it. So anyway, okay, let me get off of here before GoPro turns off again. So y'all have a great week. We'll see you next week. Um, oh, you see, there's a cardinal on the fence that is a recent fledgling. I mean, the fur on, I mean, the fur, the leaf, <laughs> leaves, oh my gosh, I need to go back to bed. Um, <laughs> the feathers on it, um, are just real kind of bushy, you know, you can tell. But, um, it's a new one and it's coming back to eat. It's been, it showed up yesterday for the first time. So, anyway. Alright, y'all have a good week. And click. Subscribe. We are hoping to get out in the boat soon. And, um, if you know anybody that likes fishing, we're hoping to get out there. The weather has been just terrible. Windy. Rainy. So we're hoping to get out there soon and um, catch some fish and have a good time out there. And uh, we went last Thursday, but it wasn't nothing to video. So anyhow, subscribe and we'll see you next week.